Hey family, this is Sister Rainbow here. Please excuse my voice, cause I'm I have got a cold, been coughing a lot. And if you can pray for me, it will be much appreciated. Um, in this last race, <laughs> I am absolutely knackered, <laughs> and I don't think I can still be here if not because the strength and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we do not run by our own strength, but it is the Lord who gives us strength and power. And we will go strength to strength till each of us appear to Zion. That I believe. So my last message, I have talking about to the my dream and the confirmation of Sister Rebecca, which is really amazing. You know, this could, the, the, the time of darkness, dark hour that is described in scripture could very well happen during Christmas time. But even if it's not, I do, I believe, I trust that the time of our deliverance, it is a time that will make all human fear and despair. And many will be taken over by fear. And in those past years, one thing the Lord have taught me very important is to completely rely on him, surrender to him. And I only learned this by crying out to God. So I want to further to tell you how important and how absolutely essential and how powerful is for us to cry out to God. In Joe, it says, when the before the time of judgment comes, all those who call upon the name of God will be saved. All those who call upon his name, who cried out to his name. So see how essential and throughout the scripture, yeah? Through our sons and in Old and New Testament, every single servant of God who have cried out to his name during the time of trouble and distress, and they were all delivered. So it will be the same when the time of the flood comes, when the time of destruction and judgment comes. We as his servant who have practiced crying out to God, who have tasted his goodness, and we will continue to do so will continue to do so even if the sword is at our throat, even the, the enemy is right after us. We will look. We will not look back. We will only look forward. Our blessed hope. And we will only look up unto Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So, this is what God have taught me in the past years, that our heart felt crying out to God. is how God prepared us for the time of darkness and deliverance of his church. Those who cried out to him in trouble will not be afraid, because they know how it is like to trust God, because they asked for God's help as God is with them. It's essential we practice this whenever the Holy Spirit prompting us to do so, just as Jesus did as he was here. Hebrew 5, 7 For in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supply, supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. Guys, I want to tell you, it was from, it was just right before COVID, after I got baptized, the Lord stopped, started giving me this uh, repent, repentance spirit that in every day I have, I, when I, when I pray, I cannot speak. All I can do is cry, is to cry for myself, how unworthy. I am to repent 
and cry for all those souls that I know, that I know who is suffering, and I know that, you know, that the, when the time of great tribulation comes, how much they will suffer. I cried so much those days. I think it's this desire that the Lord put in us to intercede for the lost souls. Um, it is truly come from the Holy Spirit. And uh, it was a, a time that his God, it was, he was training us. His fire was on us, you know. And then after those time of seeking him, surrender to him and then god he started giving me dreams i never had any dream i never expected i never even know that god can communicate to us through dreams this way and uh, <laughs> when i started complete surrender to him crying and praying heartfelt prayer with tears and then that's the time i truly experienced not just, not just um, realize the presence of God. We know God is here, but to truly experience His presence, that is completely different. And you can, you can experience God's presence through those heartfelt cry, and prayers, prayers. Yes, that is, that is where you meet God. That is your time with God. Do you know how? What a privilege that is, that you can have a personal meeting with God daily, whenever you want. And when we do this, cry out to God. This so powerful, something changes in the spiritual realm. You, your flesh disappear and you come together with God. And he come inside your life and then he start started to take over control and he started to do amazing things and i think many of you who is listening you know what i'm talking about because you too has experienced his amazing power and grace so the power of crying out now to god family in the last past years as i was waiting for the return of christ the most important lesson the Lord has taught me is to cry out to him in hopelessness so he can become my only hope, my only source of deliverance and help. Not even once the Lord has let me down. He has always delivered me from my trouble and strengthened my faith through all those hopeless cries. But I want you to understand our final deliverance will come sudden in hour of darkness and evil, an hour of destruction and desperation, and our deliverance depends on our cry to the Lord in order to trust. I have imagined many times what shall I do when this hour comes. There is a reason why in scripture says, midnight cry. Like when a woman is about to deliver a baby, she cries out with all her last strength to push the baby out. This is what is required for the delivery of a health baby. Healthy baby. The cry of a baby at birth is a proof that it is not still birth. Those who have practiced crying out to their God in faith, they have continually tasted God's goodness, His power, His strength in their life. So when the time of deliverance comes, they know exactly what to do. Just like a woman who knows she is about to go in labor. So she prepare her house, her body, her mind, her heart for the arrival of a new life. She eat healthy food daily. That is God's word. She exercise her body in great strength. That is working in faith. She practice bravery so she can stay calm. That is need by spirit. So when the midnight, so the so when the midnight labor happens, she won't be taken over by fear and stress, but instead by power and strength. Because she practiced, she followed the, the instruction of the, doct of the doctor Jesus, and she trusted if she obey his order, she and her baby will both be okay. While Jesus dwelt on earth, she 
He practiced crying out to his father all the time. It showed even the Son of God is weak in flesh, but strong in faith, in prayer, in asking help from his father. And the only reason Jesus was able to complete his mission on earth, fulfill his father's will, is because he relied not on his own strength and power, but God's. He trusted God will save him from death, and even if he die, God will bring him back to life. And he did. It is through those heartbreaking cries we learn God is the only one can help us, save us, protect us, provide for us, revenge for us. The more we cry to him, the more we experience his faithfulness. So we grow more faithful to him because he was faithful to us first and he loved us first. Crying to God instead of crying to mortal men is powerful in the reign of the Spirit. Psalm 34, 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The word of God declares that God's ears are attentive to the cry of the righteous, and our final deliverance depends on us calling upon his name, crying out for his help.